give you guys a little update on the uh, tree seedlings. They are all leafed out now. Um, got a couple that are still a little slow to wake up, I think, but was just gonna kind of give you a little show on what we got again. black cherries looking beautiful absolutely stunning um, for you know the price that we paid there's a couple in here that look a little wilty I don't know if they got dried out already these here they they actually look like yeah they actually perked up a little bit so we just had a little rain shower but this one here like it I don't know it doesn't look real great I mean you look at that one and then you look at this one beside it something's off with a couple right here um, and I don't know what it is for sure. There's a couple other ones. There's a little tiny sprig right in there that's kind of the same way. Just a little dinky thing. It doesn't look real hot. Um, but I think pretty much every single one of them at least broke dormancy and woke up. And several of them are showing, you know, a lot of nice, this is all nice new growth um, already on this year. So beautiful, beautiful growth on these. I've been going through and putting fertilizer down, just compost around the base because this soil that they're in is... You know, it's that same dead crap um, subsoil that I've got here. Kind of good for nothing soil. Um, oopsie, we had a little storm blow through it. I had this, this peach tree is absolutely loaded down. And it's it's been growing like this since I planted it. I need to get it tied up and get it straightened up. But it's loaded with little peaches, which if those all grow to be adult, it's going to snap that tree in half. So I've got to get it tied up somehow. I had that board propping it up, but the wind blew it over. Anyway, black cherry, the eastern red cedar, cute little fellows. They've greened up really nice. You remember when I planted them, they were kind of a bluish purple color dormant, but now they've gotten nice and green. The uh, Osage orange leafed out really nice. Looks beautiful. It's got a lot of good new growth on it. The Osage orange, remember the trick with it is I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible. It naturally wants to grow really crooked and nasty, so that's going to be a big project to try to keep that straight as they get bigger and bigger. Black gum, aka Tupelo, beside it. Eh, leafed out pretty good. There's a couple here that, you yeah, know, that's not dead. It's not snapping. Maybe it'll still come out. Not all oak. Um, looks a little scraggly. I just, I, I didn't put the manure or the compost real nice around its base. I just kind of flung it. I was getting tired of it. <laughs> hickory. The hickory is kind of. It was about the last thing to come out, not the very last. This one here, well, it's still pliable, it hasn't, it's not snapping. The hickory's been real slow to come out though. I've been kind of surprised by that. I'm not giving up on it yet, but anyway, at least 50% of it's out. Uh, silver maple, golly, probably 100%. Looks terrific, nice, straight, true already, you know, which I mean, there's seedlings, they should be pretty straight. The black walnut, dun dun dun, looking gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, black walnut, black cherry. You guys remember that was the catalyst for this whole project. Black walnuts look really, really good coming out. And then the swamp white oak. This is fun. I expected a more of a white oak, a traditional white oak leaf structure, but this to me looks a lot like a chinkapin oak, which I'm not. You know, I don't have any chinkapin oak on my property. Uh, but I don't know if the swamp white oak, you know, to get it, if it's a cross between a chinkapin and a white oak or what, because I think the chinkapin says that it does do well, like in river bottoms and, um, you know, more poorly drained soil than a traditional white oak that really wants, you know, well-drained fertile soil. Uh, anyway, everything's woke up. Uh, the only thing I'm not showing here is the red buds, which, of course, we scattered all around in the woods and around the yard, but looking around every one of them that I see pretty much um, is leafing out and waking up so everything looks beautiful these trees have been in now for oh I don't know um, maybe six weeks let's see it's the end of March today's like March 28th and yeah I think they I think they arrived like mid mid to late February was when I planted them so anyway 
They're looking really, really great. Super excited about it. It's going to be a real challenge this summer to see how they do when we get really hot. Uh, I've got a lot of things I've been thinking on and working on as far as, you know, having to get some shade structure put over them potentially. Um, but if at a minimum, irrigation. I did get my sprinkler moved today and I got it set up uh, to where I can get them irrigated. These that I've gotten fertilized in, see I didn't spread any compost on these because I already chipped them. I can still put some, I guess I can still throw some compost. What's it going to hurt, right? Um, but these that I put the compost on, I've still got to get them chipped. <clears throat> and I want to do the wood chips just, you know, to keep the soil moisture better, insulate the roots a little bit. And of course, as it breaks down, it'll be more nutrients. So yeah, a lot of work to do. Um, with these little trees but if it all pays off in the end like i hope it will it'll be a huge payoff look at that stupid dog in my potatoes <laughs>